Welcome to the Welsh Pool and Land of the Railway, where one of our winter projects is to make a replacement chimney for number 14. The new inner liner and barrel have already been rolled and there is a new casting for the cap. The original Hunslet chimney base was a steel pressing, now too heavily corroded to reuse, so the plan is to fabricate a new one. Starting with two rings jigged together. The top one is the diameter of the chimney barrel and the lower one has been rolled to fit the curve of the smoke box. The yellow marks indicate where the steel strips are to go. For each 15 degree interval a full size paper section is cut out and the curve marked on top of the anvil. As no forge is available, the strips are heated with a large propane torch. A hardy is dropped into the square hole in the anvil. This will be used to help bend the strips. With the strip at bright red heat, it is bent in the hardy to the right shape. Constantly comparing it against the chalked curve, and adjusting if necessary. In some cases, the second heater is required. After quenching, the strip is marked and cut to length. Always remembering the old adage, measure twice, cut once. Because of their position, some of the strips need twisting before being welded in place. With the parallel strips welded in, all that remains is to fill in the triangular gaps and complete the welding of the internal and external seams. Finally, there's a lot of grinding to bring the fabrication to its correct profile with the odd spot of building up if necessary. The grinding marks are removed with a flap disc before it is fitted to the top of the smoke box ready for the chimney barrel. If you would like more information about the railway, why not visit our website?